Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I haven't filmed a video in like two months. I honestly don't even remember what the last time I pulled out my camera. I was trying to film a video like two weeks ago, but I ended up sick and I never finished it, never edited it. It's kind of just like a waste of space, so I'm deleting it. Um, Halloween is over. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I posted a picture of the kids in their Halloween costume. I'll put it up here so you guys can see it. Lily was a fairy, Alfie just wore like a sleeper, and Ollie was Bumblebee the Transformer. Ollie is home today, he's with me, and I have Alfie on the floor playing with some toys. Um, I'm trying to just get my Christmas tree up. Um, if you're new here, I normally decorate like the day after Halloween. I just get everything up. Um, I did go to like my storage unit and I got like all of my Halloween decor in there and then brought out all of my christmas stuff it's been like almost two weeks of me trying to like transition from halloween to christmas it's just been a lot going on like i said i'm still sick um and it's mostly sinuses it's like all in my face so i'm having like really bad migraines um and like a lot of congestion and stuff like that um alfie is also still sick and he's getting over it um so we're dealing with that as well, I'm not sleeping well, he's not sleeping well, we're just kind of trying to get through it. Um, so I'm just gonna like try and get through my Christmas tree because that's like my last major project other than um, the like the hot cocoa bar, which I have to go to the store and buy all the stuff for. Um, I don't know how much of a help Ollie's gonna be with the Christmas tree. He's playing his Switch right now, and he's kind of just like being content, so I'm not gonna bother him unless he wants to join me. Um, but Alfie is just staring me down. He, I'm pretty sure he's teething, so I guess I'll do like a little update while I'm just standing here. Um, Alfie's not sleeping well, even before he was sick. He's getting up like pretty much every hour and a half to two hours. There was one day where he slept like a five hour chunk, and that's as good as it's getting. Um, he is still vomiting like really bad even with the anti-reflux medicine we tried um thickening up my milk with like a joe mix and i tried giving him formula and he rejected for the formula that i gave him completely um a lot of people are saying that i should just give up like dairy altogether and see if it's a daily dairy allergies that he's dealing with yeah i hear you <laughs> You're so cool. Yep. Um, and that might be the issue. We've definitely come a long way with the colic since I started taking like fennel seed tea. And I just realized that mother milk tea has fennel and fen fenugreek, fen whatever that is, in there. And I'm pretty sure that Ollie probably would have been a colic baby if I wasn't drinking four cups of that a day. Um, so I totally recommend just drinking fennel um and it helps with colic 100 percent because within like a week alfie was a different baby um so yeah uh that's helped him with the colic but the anti-reflux is still happening and it's like really bad so we're still working on that like i said he's getting up like frequently he's not napping long during the day either so it's like he's pretty much like non-stop exhausting um and he still contact naps during the day um it's just a lot like i have him constantly on top of me um and anthony's like working a lot since i'm home now um and it's basically just me as like the main provider for like all the kids i do the morning i do the nighttime anthony gets home around like 3 3 30 and then he's off to bed by like seven so i don't get much help from him other than on the weekends he takes alfie overnight friday and saturday and then i get him back on sunday so luckily i get like two days off um to actually sleep um which makes me like move on to like the next topic i was like so for pumping this time around i wanted to pump and get it all there but i'm having such a difficult time mentally with no sleep because he's not sleeping well at least with ollie like when he was being um breastfed and i pumped he slept long stretches um and i was at work so i was able to pump on a good schedule with Alfie, if he's sleeping on top of me, I can't pump. Um, if he's just having like a terrible wake window, I can't pump. 
I'm not keeping a schedule. My milk supply has completely dipped. Um, I am getting enough where I can like still put stuff in the fridge. But I'm definitely seeing a huge dip in my supply. Like I haven't pumped since 9.30 last night and I still don't feel engorged or anything like that. Normally I would feel engorged within four hours. Um, but I'm, I'm not. It's now almost 8 o'clock in the morning and I still feel nothing. Um, so I definitely am getting a major dip in my supply. And I think for my mental health I am going to be giving up pumping. Um, he's still not latching. He, I gave it like another try to have him breastfeed, um, throughout the night and stuff and he just won't latch. Um, so I'm giving up on breastfeeding, but I have a full fridge. I have like over 300 bags of breast milk in my deep freezer. So I'm going to just like slowly start, you know, weaning my body off of pumping it's gonna take some time because I do need to continue to pump. Um, I'm just not going to express everything out of it. Um, and I'm just gonna go longer periods until like my body stops making. So I'm gonna be giving up pumping and moving on to formula. The only problem is he just refuses to take formula. We tried the General Ease um, formula. Can't go longer than five minutes without being picked up. So um, definitely a Velcro baby. We tried the Gentle Ease um, formula and he completely rejected it. I don't know if it was because it was already like mixed up because I got the ready to use formula um, just to see if he likes it because I don't want to spend like $60 on a can and I can't return it and he doesn't like it. So I was just getting the ready to use stuff, which is like $10 for the bottle. Um, and if he likes it, he likes it. So I ended up buying like a soy milk this time around and see if he'll like it. Anthony's gonna pick it up on the way home from work. Um, and I'm gonna see if that works. I'm pretty sure he has like some sort of milk um, issues because when I don't eat a lot of dairy, he definitely doesn't spit up as much, but he's still spitting up, so. I don't really know what the problem is. Um, so yeah, that's like the update with Alfie. Here he is. His face is all scratched up because he's, um, oh, of course he spit up. So here's Alfie. He's officially 13 weeks old. He's a big guy. Oh my God, look at that head control. Wow. Um, his face is all scratched up because we're transitioning from um, like the swaddles to like the non-arm swaddles. We got one, like a halo sleep sack. Um, but he's like still digging at his face and like whacking himself in the face. So I don't think he's like 100% ready for that, but he hates being swaddled down. So we're just struggling. He's in like size three diapers. He's, hello. Um, he's in three to six month clothing. He refuses to like, um, turn or roll over he absolutely hates tummy time but he just will not roll over um he wants to sit up but he cannot he's a nosy body he likes to be all over everybody and hear everybody um what else he's now like like talking to me like we can have a conversation yeah and he'll like talk back and forth with me um he likes to do that um bath time is his favorite time of the day even though he has such a hard hard time between four and six six o'clock he like hates that time of the day he is a music baby every anytime we turn on alexa he's like smiling and laughing um anthony plays the guitar for him and he absolutely loves it um so he's definitely like a music baby he likes to listen to music and hear us sing um what else He's grabbing things with his hands and putting it into his mouth. He's definitely teething. I know he's teething. He's drooling everywhere and everything is like in his mouth, like I said. Um, what else are you doing? What else are you doing? He's like attempting to sit up. Um, like if I pull him up by my fingers, um, like with my hands, He'll like scrunch up and like try to set up, but he has no balance whatsoever and he falls down immediately. Um, but yeah, that's it. He's three months old. He's a big guy. Yeah, and he's like a Velcro baby. 
he is like up my butt nonstop. Um, there was this one time that Anthony had him and he was just like walking back and forth while I was pumping. The minute I finished pumping, I took the baby and Affy was screaming the entire time. The minute I took him, um, he was totally fine. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get try and do this while, um, before his nap starts because he's starting to get fussy. I don't know what his problem is. Um, he has slept horrible last night, so that's probably what the problem is. Um, and he's only taking like 20 to 30 minute naps in the last week, so he needs to take like a nice nap. Also, he just refuses to nap upstairs in his bassinet, um, which I think we should transition him into Ollie's room or something. We need to get him out of our bedroom because he knows we're in there and he freaks out. So yeah, um, let's get started on this tree. Ollie wants to help. I'm gonna throw on some Christmas music. I just get this going because I just wanna be done with it and get these containers out of my living room. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely real real quick um, while I can t like try to do the dishes before Alfie starts freaking out. I got Ollie's lunch going in the microwave. Just making some nuggies real quick. Um, it's been a really rough morning with Alfie and I was just like, why am I having such a hard time with this baby today? He's either eating like every hour or like trying to go down for a nap like every 30 minutes. Like he's just screaming. Um, then I go on the Wonder Weeks app. If you do not have the Wonder Weeks app, you need it. Uh, he's going through like a mental leap. They tell you exactly when they're about to start, when they finish, what's going to happen in those mental leaps, what are some of the possibilities of like, what are the signs for the leap. Um, so his leap is supposed to start tomorrow, but it's technically starting today. I can see that he's already going through the mental leap. Oh my God. And this is like a really big one because it's like the four month um like sleep regression all that going on so there is like a really bad um like month ahead of us of like really bad sleep fussiness him clinging to me him probably like cluster feeding and stuff like that in the next month um because it's like a really bad period for the next couple of weeks and then it's like a good period for like two weeks and then it's back on to another bad week so um he's going through like a really bad mental leap right now and it could take him a while to get through it um so yeah this is just it's gonna be fantastic um i'm gonna try and get through some dishes i haven't finished my tray since the last of my film this morning um i had like a bit of a mental breakdown i was crying on the phone to anthony because i am just tired and he's just screaming all morning it's giving me flashbacks to like his colic days and i'm just like traumatized by that to be honest um him and i have been talking because we don't know if we want to have another child after alfie he's just been like a really i'm not gonna say terrible or bad baby he's just a baby um but it's been rough with him compared to like my other two children um so much so as like I'm not filming, I'm not sleeping, I'm not doing, like I can't even go out because he screams nonstop in the car, um, which is traumatizing. Like I can't even go up the street to take Ollie to school without him screaming for the three minute ride in total. Like it takes us three minutes there and back and he's screaming in the car the entire time. Um, 20 minutes to my parents' house, screaming. Five minutes to Target, screaming. He's just screaming every time we get in the car. No matter what, no matter what I do, he just screams. So it's just like traumatizing. Um, I hate going outside now. Uh, so I'm like pretty much stuck in the house and it just sucks because like, I, I want to be able to go and do something, especially now that I'm home 
all day every day with him he just hates being in the car and then it's so hard to like settle him down after he's throwing like a huge tantrum in the car um like it's like huge screaming fit like he's like making himself throw up he's turning red um there's just like it's really hard to settle him after that um well he's starting again so i'm gonna quickly do the dishes and then move on to like my next thing um this is just like realistic with like a colicky clingy baby i don't really know what else to say but oh my god <laughs> all right so he's progressively getting worse he's mad about something i don't know he already ate took a nap for 40 minutes and i changed him already and he's just screaming i've eaten a bowl of oatmeal thank you <laughs> yep 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 okay i've eaten a bowl of oatmeal and a bag of cheese it's all day and i've been up since 4 30 in the morning i am at my wit's end i can't wait for anthony to get home he's about to drive home thank god it's almost two o'clock i am literally going nuts <laughs> 10 hours of this I've only been able to pump once and this is exactly why I feel like it's time for me to just give up pumping. Um, it's just not worth it anymore. My mental health is literally going down the drain. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he wants. Um, and I'm like losing my, my freaking mind. I'm losing my patience. I was able to get my Christmas tree done which is the only productive thing I've done all freaking day other than a load of dishes to put in the sanitizer. Other than that, round two. Obviously it's not just a little bit of spit up. He's like actually projectile vomiting everything I give him, no matter what I do. So Anthony should be coming home with um, some formula. So hopefully I could try that again. Um, nothing is soothing him, not even the music nothing he's giving me such a hard time about taking his nap so his wake windows are just terrible i'm so mentally over today as soon as anthony comes home i'm handing this baby off taking a shower and going to lay down and watch tv in my bed because i'm just over today i'm over it <laughs> like i know anthony had like a really rough day at work because you know he's a trash man and he has to pick up a lot of trash but he's taking this baby Say hi. I am miserable. And I don't know what to do. But cry about it. Yeah. I'm just I'm just freaking out. Just freaking out. <laughs> what is the matter, babies? What is wrong? What is wrong? <laughs> He's just not having it. Okay, well, like I said, I'm waiting for Anthony to come. Yeah. Yeah. You want huggies? Oh. You want huggies? no joke guys this has been like the hardest challenge of being a mom so far is dealing with a baby that just has the temperament that he has like he's just so clingy and constantly is crying like I had my first two children have never been this bad what is your tummy hurt? What is wrong? Yeah, what's wrong? What happened? What is wrong? <laughs> the mom bounce. <laughs> Let's hope it works. All right, well, I'm waiting for Anthony and then I'll probably just give an update later on. My house is a mess, so I have to clean that up when Anthony gets home. And we're having leftover chili that we had like two days ago because I'm just over today. 
All right, so Anthony's home. I actually had like a mental breakdown. I went upstairs and cried for a little bit because I'm just, I'm having a really hard day. Um, he came home with the, the formula. Um, so this is the one we're gonna try. Like I said, we did try the gentle ease and it didn't work. So I'm hoping this works. Um, it's good for um, milk allergies. So we're gonna try this. Um, he should be eating like really soon. So I got it all ready, shook it up. Um, this was like $23. This is like double the price as like normal formula. Um, and I know the cans are like 60 bucks. So this is kind of pricey for uh, non-dairy versions. Um, so if you're looking for like, and it's supposed to help with colic. Um, so hopefully this helps because he's been crying non-stop all day. All right, so it is much later now. It's almost seven o'clock. Anthony is upstairs giving Alfie a bath. I gave Ollie a bath real quick. Um, Alfie hates the aftermath of the bath, but he loves getting like an actual bath. That's why you can probably hear him crying. I have his formula in the warmer. He actually likes this formula. He was drinking it. He had a bottle and a half so far and he's doing well on it. I mean, he's still throwing up and not um as bad as he normally does you guys seen that he threw up like three times in like a couple minutes like he was actually throwing up so yeah thank god when anthony got home he took the baby because i was going crazy um have a little bit of a meltdown on camera but everything's going well now um so after going to bed in a couple of minutes in the next 30 minutes, I'll probably drink and then just like head straight down for our bed. Um, so I'm getting myself ready. I only pumped twice today, so I know there's a major dip in my supply. Um, I didn't notice that I was like leaking everywhere come my second pump, which happened like 30 minutes ago. So I only pumped because I was literally leaking everywhere. Um, I was trying to prolong it until like right now or like closer to eight o'clock so I didn't have to pump overnight which i'm gonna still try to not do i'm not fully expressing everything out i'm just um pumping so i can relieve um because i think i'm definitely done with my breastfeeding journey so far i do have a huge stash in the fridge so we're just gonna keep adding to that until there's nothing left pretty much um so yeah i'm so sad to be done with this but for my own mental health it needs to be over with um i'm gonna go help anthony with the baby and i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section below i try to get to every comment now i'll see you guys in the next video bye